All right, so I'd say we've always had issues with the soccer team, um, but I think that the breaking point for both of the teams was definitely when they found the audacity to ask to split our locker room. Because off of the girls' locker room, there's this separate team locker room, and um, we've always had it, just because it makes the most sense, because we're the winning team in the fall, and we're, we're a bigger team, and we have more equipment, so nobody's ever really challenged it. But this year, the soccer girls asked the AD if they could have half of our locker room. So we're pretty understanding, so we compromised, and we, we took half of the locker room for our varsity team, and they have the other half for their varsity team's shin guards. And um, I'd say, though, that's when it really broke down, because they really challenged us in that situation, and I think a lot of the underlying stuff is just jealousy, too, because, like I said, we're the winning team in the fall, and um, we get more fans at our games, and we always make the playoffs, and I think that makes them upset. Next year, I'm going into high school. My sister, Emma Mon, I know, has threatened many soccer girls, whom will be my teammates next year. I'm very scared because I don't want the soccer girls to think that I'm going to follow into my sister's footsteps. Yeah, so um, soccer, girls soccer and field hockey have a lot of like tension going on right now. I mean, obviously field hockey's better. Just look at their statistics. They win almost every single game. Does soccer even win a game? I mean, I wouldn't know because no one really goes to their games actually. Like, you never even hear about their games because I think they just lose them all. Um, but, like, field hockey is, like, all the best people, like, Sarah, Emma, like, all those guys, they're always scoring, and, like, does soccer have anyone athletic? I mean, I can't think of anyone on the soccer team, really, that comes to mind. Like, I could probably name the whole field hockey team, but, like, there's so many girls that are, like, trying so hard on that team that, like, I don't even think I could name every single one of them. Um, yeah, I mean... They have a lot of like arguments and stuff, but I think soccer is kind of just like a wimp sort of team. Um, ever since we got to high school, we've just been told to ignore the field hockey team, but it's kind of hard when Emma Mon's always calling us out. I know ever since I was in eighth grade, we've always referred to them as like a cult, and they're always really mean. And I don't really understand why, because like we have a better record than them, and. Like, they're not really that good, and field hockey is such a weird sport. It's like a fast-paced golf. Like, it has no, nowhere near the amount of skill that soccer requires. Okay. What even is soccer? It's the easiest sport ever. It's meant to be a rec sport also because everybody stops playing once they're out of fourth grade. Soccer girls are always fighting. Whenever you see the hall, they're always yelling at each other for some stupid reason. Hockey girls, we're the best. We get along and we support each other through everything and anything. And plus, we always win. Soccer loses all the time. Okay, I feel very threatened going into the locker room. On the daily, Sarah yells at us. And soccer is undefeated, unlike field hockey.